The world's largest brewer may cut its workforce by over a thousand in South Africa. Einhauser Bush InBev has offered voluntary severance packages to some of its employees. This comes after AB InBev acquired rival SAB Miller in one of the largest corporate mergers in history. SAB says the voluntary severance offer is in keeping with the conditions AB InBev agreed to with the South African Competition Tribunal. Part of the major conditions is for the giant to maintain the number of employees in SAB Miller's local operations for the first five years. It's also not allowed to implement force retrenchments. The exit options have been offered to mid-level employees only and those above them. Meanwhile, the Food and Allied Workers Union has criticized brewing giant AB InBev for reportedly offering more than 1,000 employees in South Africa a voluntary severance package. As part of the deal, it's not permitted to implement force retrenchments for five years. If the company is doing well like this one is doing well, why should you just retrench because you want to maximize profit? There has to be a sense of responsibility to the country uh, by corporate South Africa. South Africa is preparing for a hard British exit from the European Union. Last week, the UK confirmed its decision to leave the single market, raising questions about the future of trade deals in the region. Trade and Industry Minister Rob Davies is meeting UK International Trade Secretary Liam Fox over the next two days to discuss South Africa's trade relations with Britain post-Brexit. The visit is expected to showcase investment opportunities in priority sectors, including business process services and renewable energy. The, during the visit, Davies will also engage with UK agricultural importers. The UK has ranked South Africa's seventh largest export partner in the world last year and was ranked South